we beat a boss. Let's see what happens. She gets insanely mad at me. And she really wants to make love with me. Because, uh... I showed her how strong I am and all that, you know. But, no, I don't like fat bitches. Especially this fat. I mean, she... She destroyed the foundation. <laughs> That's no lady. It's a man, Austin. Anyway, uh, take this for your troubles. Ten thousand gold. Awesome. They just kind of hand money and everything to you, like towards the end of the game. Like, they, they give you a lot of money, and every world gets sequentially smaller. I mean, uh, Prehistoria, you went everywhere. Uh, Nobilia was a bit, it was, it was kind of big, but, I don't know, it didn't have much going for it, and then, uh, I, ivory Tower does not seem very ivory anymore. And instantly, after the fat bitch died, everyone left. I'm gonna follow him. Where is he going? Pretty sure everyone's gone from town now. So and moved to Epon Keep. I don't know why the the king went out that way though. When uh the drawbridge is so much faster. Who knows? I don't I'm at a loss for words. I've been watching a lot of Red... Red Supre? Yeah. Watching a lot of that lately. And I, I fear that eventually I'll become... mocked by them. Here's hoping that it doesn't happen. Or they don't decide to tear me a new asshole. So, yeah. I try. I try for quality, guys. I really do. Um, let's see, uh, up here? Yes, awesome. We're back in Ebon Keep. Oh, and here's the guy who became older. Yeah, he, you know had his formula that made him old, and now he's working on one that's making him young. Huh. Unsurprising at most. Uh, They're very creative of the game designers. Now I'm gonna go talk to Tinker. Because Tinker will know what to do. Tinker always knows what to do. Let's see. Uh, foreshadowing. And here we found the flying thing. I don't remember what it's called. It's like the wind skipper or something like that. Walker. How did I not get that? Anyway, um, so now we could fly anywhere and evermore, and now we need to get the valve wheel and the round pressure gauge and the energy source. So the diamond eyes, right? Okay. Yeah. 
I, I remember what I need to do now. I was trying to figure out what the hell I was getting from the second world. But anyway. Now all the fire pits are lit up. So it makes it easier to do to go to places. I'm not sure if I showed them to you guys before. But you'll probably see more than a few now. You'll be like, oh, that's where that was. Because I... I didn't completely explore them because the fire pits, there's generally nothing there. They serve as nothing more than landing pads, so. Um, let's see. Black boxes in the sky! Anyway, um. Let's see. This island serves no purpose. Let's see. Don't want to go to Antiquita. There we go. Um, there we go. To the bug muck. Hmm, the bug muck or... Which one is this? I think, yeah, I think this is the bug muck. Yep. Now check this out things die easy and the great thing about this game is that uh, with weapon levels and weapon leveling uh, they scale based on the numbers of enemy killed not necessarily levels like uh, enemies that are of your level so if you just kinda float around here and just pop these suckers you can get every weapon to max insanely fast it's probably the one of the best ways to level in the a weapon in the game. Um, once you're to this point, so it's kind of cool because you don't necessarily need to have a hundred percent to do damage that will kill them. Usually, sometimes I'm completely wrong, but generally you don't. You can hit these guys like twice and they die. Anyway. Pop. Um. Vortex pits. Whee! Anyway. Um. Smiling, nodding, moving on. Um, let's see here. Tee um, Well, I found an alchemist. And I want ingredients. Oh, wait, I don't have that. Fuck. Needs more talents. Anyway. Gonna end the video here. Next time.